Hey guys, thanks for the great meeting earlier today. Um, I have here a scheme for the floor plan uh, that's uh, really, really exciting. So I think this might just be a, a unicorn scheme, but uh, you know that's that's for you guys to decide. But I mean, we are uh, perfectly kissing the square footage limits, uh, including an allowance for the uh, the spaces that are taller than 15 feet here in the great room. Um, but I have been able to uh, squeeze the uh, the 29 foot driveway in while also tweaking to 90 degrees the bedroom wing. Um, it's a significant redesign to the bedroom wing, but it's got a lot going for it. For starters, it is just right outside of the drip line of the uh, elm tree here. Um, while still providing what I expect to be very fantastic views of both the elm tree and the oak tree uh, that is in this direction, just right off the page here. Um, I think it, it may not be quite the same because, you know, now uh, we come in from the entry, we'll come past your daughter's bedroom here, which is now still tucked in, um, you know, you now have the more prominent corner for the master. And when you come in uh, into this little vestibule of your own, past your closet, past your bathroom, I do think that looking down this hallway, and especially if we have a large amount of glass on this back wall, like I would expect, I do think that the elm here is going to be very, very commanding. Um, but boy, when you come into this corner and you're even closer to the canopy and the, I'd like to think that this roof is going to slope. Uh, I'd like to go up in this direction, exploring that, um, up towards the oak would be great too, especially as we turn our heads and look and be able to see now, hopefully a, a very wide panorama of, uh, the two trees, uh, very exciting. Um, Given the master suite's location here, I think it might also be worth exploring the idea of coming into the master bathroom area and rotating the tub shower away from each other so that we can get a sliding glass door here uh, that could open out onto a side patio. I think that would be a really nice thing to have. That way, when you're in the backyard area, obviously we still have the, the mudroom connection to get to a bathroom quickly, but for you guys, maybe, you know, just run into this bathroom real quick to use the bathroom and wash your hands. The the one downside of doing it this way, instead of having the tub this way, as originally shown, is that the vanity does get shorter. You know, I'm showing right now a six foot wide vanity, which I would expect you're gonna think is, is too narrow. Um, but I think rotating the tub this way in order to get this access out through a sliding glass door is worth it. Um, I also would not want to reduce the width of this uh, relatively long vestibule for your master suite uh, just to benefit a few more inches of vanity. But let me know how you feel about a six foot wide vanity for the two of you. Um, that's probably the only downside I see to this master suite. Uh, I mean, check it out. The, the closet here has gotten a significant upgrade. Um, this closet is probably about twice uh, the size of what you were asking, but that's really more of a result of everything else sort of tweaking and pushing. I, you know, the closet was always the space that I knew could sacrifice and could stretch and pull. And with the way it's worked out right now, uh, and I'm really happy with the geometry. It, it's a significantly sized walk-in closet for you with a little island in the middle, uh, almost to his side, her side. Um, the washer dryer hookup, I would say, you know, depending on the final need, maybe this L shape is just all really nice cabinetry or really nice um, storage area. And this could just be extra deep storage behind some cabinet doors. Then in the future, when it does come time to install a stacked washer dryer here, you know, then you take up, up that space and maybe you still keep the doors. That way, you know, when people enter the home or they're, they're, you know, they're coming this way out, they don't get a long view down the hall through your master suite door, through perhaps the open pocket door to see the washer dryer unit. You know, that that's not so bad, I think. I think there's going to be... Um, enough art on the wall, I hope, uh, to 
you know, provide something more interesting to look at than through your door. But that's perhaps another concern about the placement here. You know, we can move this over here, but now it's on an exterior wall. Really, it's the right spot for it. Um, we have options for this door. Maybe this could be a pocket door. That way we're not ever really blocking a uh, view of the end of this vestibule, which I'd like to put a little built-in shelf or display niche, um, at least some nice art at the end of this hallway. Um, but I really like this, this master suite and I really love the location of it. I love that it's squared out to the patio. We just have a nice 90 degree corner. Um, your daughter's bedroom would be right here. Um, access this way, her closet would be right here. Uh, and then a bit of an extra wide, extra, extra large bathroom for her with sort of a reach, a, uh, a reach around sort of pan, uh, not pantry, um, linen here, uh, rather than fully expressing this and pushing this wall back to this plane here, I'd like to pull this back in that way, whatever window details I do here, have a chance to look sort of symmetrical on this wall. Um, Although that, that could be played around with a bit later. Uh, but anyways, this is one trick to do is pull this in by allowing the linen for the bathroom area to sort of be accessed around this corner here. Um, you know, this is the one bedroom that doesn't have windows on two sides, which is, you know, it's a bit of a, a shame. I love having two corners or, or two sides for a, a bedroom. But I do think at least there's the long view of the elm tree right here, um, th past the bathroom from this bed wall. I, I think this is uh, still going to be a, a really nice bedroom, uh, perhaps a bit noisy with the covered patio right here. Um, and perhaps maybe not the greatest to see the grill in the foreground, but, you know, per there could be said something said for uh, doing some planting right here again along this wall um because i'd like to have some natural light coming in through a high window uh and perhaps seeing some shrubbery against this that climbs tall like a you know not necessarily a cypress but something like that uh would be really nice uh it gives something green and immediate to see at the foreground here it softens the wall as seen from the dining room um and, and gives something to see from this bed wall before the immediacy of the uh the grill here but of course, the big green canopy here is going to be fantastic. Uh, the boys' rooms have gotten rotated now and, and slid past each other a little bit just to make the, the square footages uh, work and, and uh, make use of alignments and, and things lining up when possible. Um, but this is now, uh, you know, a bit of a landlocked uh, hallway. You know, I... I don't know if it's going to make sense for me to try to do any of those original moves I was doing because the house is, or at least this bedroom wing has gotten um, far more square in proportion. I mean, of course, it's still a rectangle, but it's not as nearly as long uh, as it was before. So I, I think going with skylights will be necessary to bring light into this uh, central circulation area because it's really wide and it's really open and I think that's going to be great you know given that it's a big busy circulation space especially in the mornings when all four of you are emptying or I'm sorry five of you are emptying out of these four doors um, I want it to be wide but I also want it to be daylit so I do think that uh, doing a skylight you know maybe that lands right here illuminating the long hallway in both directions that that would be ideal it would bring light in to your master suite when this door is open or if this could be a frosted glass type door uh, that'd be really nice um but anyways i'm sorry i sort of digress i was talking about the boys bedrooms you know one door in here closet along the one wall uh two sides for windows um nice bathroom uh this bathroom looks out with its um sort of access point we're able to quite easily um, pick up a three foot wide uh, vanity and a two foot wide linen. Uh, the only downside here is that, you know, in laying in bed, the door is open, the toilet's staring right at you. So the, uh, the alternative is to just uh, rotate the linen this way, uh, or I'm, I'm sorry, I should say, um, we can play around with uh, 
how this bathroom is lit. For example, we could take this bathroom type here and replace that here. Um, moving into the other boy's uh, bedroom, the closet, nice long closet here, two walls for glass, and then access to the uh, to his bathroom right here. Very standard bathroom, uh, but quite appropriate, I think. Uh, not too many other changes to the other wings. Um, really, this is, I think, uh, going to look exactly like um, how you anticipated. I've shrunk the garage down, um, absorbing that space uh, here in sort of cabinetry that now lines the garage wall, um, but accessible from the inside. Um, and I've also said, well, let's widen this opening now uh, and have perhaps this cabinetry turning the corner, doing an outside corner thing. Um, we could do that with the upper cabinets and the lower cabinets as well. And perhaps that'll help draw the eye towards this opening here, um, especially if we're trying to direct uh, guess, say, you know, where's the powder room? You know, say, go, you know, you have to go through the corner of the kitchen, uh, second door on the left. Uh, we'll do something decorative for this door. I imagine that makes it stand out from the pantry uh, and the mudroom door. But guys, I'm really excited about this. I'm, I'm eager to hear your thoughts. Uh, and of course, the 800 square foot uh, ADU is uh, showing dimensions on this plan now too. So you can uh, review those and let me know what you think of this new plan. I, I think it's very promising. Um, and I think I've addressed my, my big concerns um, in this video. Uh, so yeah, really eager to hear your thoughts. Thank you.